Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Like the way I stretched that out. I stretched out the word welcome too. Uh, this is t-shirt yarn. This is pieces of old t-shirts uh, that have been given up to be recycled that I have cut into thin strips and then you pull it. It rolls up into these wonderful pieces of fabric. T-shirt yarn is so very, very fun to work with. This is a long one. I'm just going to have to keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling to get it stretched out. It might need to be cut later. I love, this is the fun part of this t-shirt yarn is stretching it out and seeing it curl up and form. It just rolls up into like a little tube of fabric. Um, I'm going to use some of this green and some of this orange. I was looking for fallish colors um, to do this with and I have some more of this green. This is more of a spring green but I figure green goes with green. I'm just pull. Whoa this is a long piece. I'm just going to pull. Whoa it's really long. Wow <laughs> that was long. Um, I'm using this to work on the weaving that was started and left behind by one of my sweet students. Um, sometimes when um, their work gets left behind, I, I just leave it as it is because it was uh, something beautiful. And there's always an opportunity for somebody who is um, new to our school or looking for something to do to keep their hands moving to just be able to grab that and go. So, okay, Whew, that is a lot of light green. That is a light, light green. All right, I'm gonna take it and cut it into strips. Yes. And I think I'll go with like this length because I think that will make it easier to put here on this loom. Have you ever just been sitting in front of TV and looking for something to do and you find yourself scrolling on your phone? Ugh. I try not to do that so much these days. I always try to have something like some sort of craft or something to make in my hands. And um, then I find that I'm not watching TV as much as I am creating. And then that makes me happy because sometimes I think too much TV time is wasted time. I mean, that, that's just me. I'm just offering opinions here. <laughs> it might be something you, you think sounds great. You can, can subscribe to that idea as well. All right, this looks, is that too short? Uh, it might make it. So we have lots here. Was there a long piece of orange that I needed to cut? Yes, this one. I think I'll just cut it in half. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do the t-shirt yarn, and I just use my fingers. I just use my fingers for this. Um, I prefer to do two colors. In my last video, you might have um, seen this one before. Uh, this cardboard loom has green and white warp strings. Um, warp are the strings that go up and down. These are the ones where we are going to be weaving over, under, over, under. Um, these are the ones that will go left to right. Over, under, over, under. These go up and down. Okay, so I am going to start with dark green. And I guess with the dark green, I'm just going to go under the green, under the green, under the green, and I'm just pulling it through under the green and under the green. And I'm going to push it up, and I think I'll switch into orange here. And with the orange, I'm going to go under the white, under the white, under the white, and I'm just lifting it with my finger under the white, under the white, under the white. I do not bother myself with trying to take this little short piece of fabric and putting it um, into a needle. I, I feel like that just makes no sense for this. 
when I could just use my fingers. So here with the green, it's under the green again, under the green, under the green. Okay. And, whoa, that's a long one. I don't want to use that one. And under the or under the white for the orange. Under the white. Under the white. And this fabric feels so good on my um, on my fingers. It's just like a very soothing um, thing to do. And I think the way that it's just a simple system. So I'm gonna scrunch this up. See how it's starting to look? I love that look. It's amazing. I love t-shirt yarn. And these these are just old t-shirts. People have donated t-shirts or, you know, you go to an event and you'll get a free t-shirt. And then sometimes you just really don't like the design and, you know, you never wear it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it right off your hands. And get my, and get my um, special cutter. I have a cutter that that I used to cut this with. It looks like a pizza cutter. I'll have to show that on another video. It's called a rotary blade because it goes around in a circle, like the pizza cutter. Okay, under the white for this one. Under the white, under the white, under the white. And you see how great it looks together. I think I'll, I will do a couple more rolls like this, and then I might take a, a break and put some regular yarn in between um, all the sections that I add with the t-shirt yarn to give more unity to this piece. Because I don't want to finish this whole piece with just t-shirt yarn because there's um, other colors of yarn in there as well. Beautiful, right? This is the light. So this is a what I call one of the specialty yarns that I have. Um, I like the rainbow colored yarns that transition to different colors. I like the really fat fluffy ones. Uh, I like just the regular thin yarns. I love them all. It, it all is very um, soothing and co it's a, just a, it feels cozy. It just feels like a stuffed animal type day when you have this. And, and you'll find yourself just touching and rubbing the texture. And it's, it's a calming thing. I, I find myself just calmer when I'm doing fiber arts and weaving and I try to crochet. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that. I made a mistake. I was supposed to be going under the white. Well, that's what happened when you run your mouth. Okay, under the, <laughs> under the white, oh my gosh, under the white, not under the green again, under the white, uh, you, you should be, you should be able to spot out, spot your mistakes just like I did, it's easy to go back and fix, okay, there, <laughs> there, all right, so up here there were four oranges down here, it's four oranges and I think I'll do one more of the green I feel a cramp in my thumb going on here I don't know what that's all about but I'll work it out this is good exercise for the little muscles in your hands this uses more fingers than scrolling on a phone <laughs> there yes yes and so now these are all different links right here, and these over here are different links. I'm going to pull these just a little bit more. Okay. So then I can take my handy dandy scissors and go ahead and cut. And I think this is a good pair. This is a newer pair. I can just cut along here and voila. And even it up. And even though I'm not completely done yet, um, it'll help things from getting in the way when I move to the next step. So, cut it even with the edge of the loom. 
And look how that, oh my gosh, that is so lovely. That is so nice. Okay, so I'm going to switch up and I'll be back. So I paused the camera and got a few rows in. I added the yellow. Now I'm adding the black. I think I'm going to go one more row with this black before I resume with the t-shirt yarn um, so you can see how it looks. Okay. Wait. I can do another row with the black, okay. Under the green, under the green, under the green, under the green. I like that this needle is flexible. Unlike the metal ones, you can just bend it and move it on through. All right, so now I'm going to stop. Be careful when you're cutting this off and make sure you are far enough away from your warp, thread, warp threads so you do not cut them because it's, it sort of ruins your piece. Okay, so now that I've done that, I scoop this up. And you'll notice now the white and green has disappeared. Yes, just virtually has disappeared. Ooh, that's long. I'm gonna do light green with this orange now. So. Under the green. The green goes under the green. I'm not going to bore you with me. I'm fumbling through this. This is lovely. Uh, it's now that I'm closer to the end, the strings are tighter, so it's going to take me a little bit longer. So I'll pause again and come back. So I've added the light green and orange. Now I'll do the trim. Lovely, right? I like it. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I, as I scoot this up, it is, the more I push it together, I think the nicer the patterns look in there. Weaving. Try it out. It's fun. It's relaxing. And it's relatively easy. Almost anyone could do this. Art makes you smart. And this is a craft. This is a way of making art. It doesn't require you to draw really good or um, know how to color really good or paint, just follow a pattern and use your hands. And it's relaxing, it feels wonderful to the touch, and it's good for you. Weaving. Join me next time when we'll make more cool stuff. Bye.